Hey folks, Adam Dukes here. Welcome to this brand new video series. It's going to be 25 videos over the course of the next six or so weeks on how to build sales funnels, how to set up lead magnets, how to set up landing pages, how to sell digital products, how to sell memberships, subscriptions, creating your own affiliate program, hosting videos, all within one single tool, one simple tool, I should say, system.io. It's a tool that I've been using for the last several months and I absolutely love it for a few reasons. It's simple to use, it's very affordable, and they have fantastic customer support. And I've used all the funnel builders on the market and by far this is the simplest one to use and without a doubt, the best customer service as well. So like I said, if you're interested in this video series on how to leverage this tool in your business to earn more money, to work more efficiently, to work less, but still earn more, make sure you subscribe down below. Click that little bell notification because it'll alert you of every time I release a new video in this training series. Also, if you'd like to check out system.io, it's a 100% free account. It's not a free trial. It's a free account. Check out the link down below, adamdukes.com forward slash S-Y-S. You'll get access to just about $600 in bonuses that I'm giving you completely for free if you sign up for system today. So if you're interested in that, check it out down below, adamdukes.com forward slash S-Y-S. All right, in this training on system.io, we are going to talk about setting up a landing page. Now, we're not going to set up a complete funnel. This training is going to be just a setting up a landing page, leveraging one of their pre-made 25 or 30 different templates that they can use. I'm just going to kind of give you an overview of how the page builder works, how you can edit it, how you can customize it to your liking, use one of their templates, customize one of their templates, or just create from scratch. It's really, really simple to do and it shows you some tips and tricks on using the landing page builder. So let's dive right in. So once you log into your system.io account, what you're going to do is go over to your funnels tabs up here and click create over on the right hand side. And we will name it test, we'll say test YouTube. There we go, perfect. Uh, funnel domain, if you have multiple domains, if you're just getting started, you probably only have one, uh, but just select whatever domain you have. If you don't have a uh, custom domain, you'll just use your username.system.io, that, that, that's on the free plan. Uh, but I'm gonna go with go.adamdukes.com. You can build your audience, sell something custom, or run an evergreen webinar. These really don't, mean too much. Uh, I typically always select build an audience. You can always add pages to your funnel afterwards. Uh, the US dollar and then we'll click create. All right, so over on the left-hand side, as you can see, we have our squeeze page and then a thank you page. That's kind of the template for that specific funnel that we chose. Uh, as you can see, squeeze page here, thank you page here. If you wanted to add steps or add pages to your funnel, all you do is click create step here name it and then choose whatever it is whether it's a pop-up form whether it's a thank you page a sales page an order form an upsell a downsell webinar whatever it is you just select it here so what we're going to do is go back to squeeze page and you'll notice these buttons right here across the top so this is obviously all the different templates that they offer uh, this page or this template or this tab right here is the automation rule. Now we're not going to set this up in this specific training. We're going to set this up when we set up our email sequence, when we tag our email sequence. So make sure you hit subscribe down below. Click that little bell notification because I release these videos two to three times a week. So you'll want to see uh, how to set up the email sequence and then it'll make sense of this automation rule. If you want to split test, you can split test landing page A versus landing page B. You do that here. And then of course you can check your stats. Uh, it'll show your landing or your page views, how many opt-ins, what your conversion rate. If you're selling something, it'll show total sales, your conversion rate, how much revenue, earnings per click, all that good data right there. And then obviously sales and deadline settings. We'll go over more of all of that once we get into kind of how to create a sales page and or an order form. So what we're going to do is go back over to step configuration and we are going to build a landing page. So what we're going to do is just kind of scroll through and look for a template that we can use. I go for simple. I'll just grab one of these these popular ones with a background here. All right, so now you can see the name. If you wanted to change it to something like Lander version one, maybe if you wanted to split test a couple different landing pages, you could name it whatever. Obviously you can change that at any time. The URL path, so it's go.adamdukes.com, a, a bunch of different numbers and letters. So what I'm gonna do is say Lander V1. And I will click the green button over on the far right hand side that will save it. I can copy my link right here, copy the URL to take a look at it. Oops, I missed this error. So that version already exists. So let me just delete the dash. 
click save okay so lander v1 is open and what we can do is preview it edit it or we can change the layout so what we're going to do is edit it and click this little pencil icon here all right so now i'll give you a quick overview so up in the upper left hand corner you can see you have an undo button and you can also have the settings so what we can do is go to settings we can change the font for the landing page uh, we can change the font style, font size, line height, the color of links, any type of color, the language. This is basically the overall page settings. If you want to change the title, you would change it here, the description, keywords, author, social image. If you wanted to hide it from search engines, add in any type of tracking codes in the header or the footer you do here. And then affiliation, each page just by default, as you can see in the lower right hand corner right down here, it has a badge for system.io. That will be your affiliate link. So if someone were to click on it and purchase, you would earn affiliate commissions automatically. However, I turn these off in 99%, probably 100% of the time. What we'll do is scroll back up to the top. We will click back here. And as you can see, they have an elements tab and a blocks tab. So elements is pretty self-explanatory. Text, headline text. So if I wanted to add a different headline, you just drag it over. It's really that simple. And if you want to increase the text, you highlight it here. You go back over this left side and you can increase the text on whatever you like and also the line height here. So that's pretty self-explanatory. And again, this all works the same. If I wanted to add a video to this landing page, I would just go down here. I would click here and I could upload a YouTube video. I could do a custom embed, upload a file or just direct link to a video. Now I'm not a fan of having videos on my landing pages. So what I'm gonna do is highlight it, make sure the orange outer box is, uh, is lit up and just click the little trash can. That's it, it's really, really simple to use. Uh, again, if you've used ClickFunnels before, you'll notice the page builder is very, very, very similar. Uh, and then again, you could just custom, if you wanna do custom layouts. For a landing page, it's gonna be pretty simple. You're probably not gonna use many of these elements for a landing page. I go for the simplicity look with the landing page. Now with a sales page or maybe creating a website or a blog, something along those lines, you're probably gonna use more of these tools, but know that they're there and you can use them at any time on any pages that you build. Uh, the block section is another cool section, so you can save different blocks. Um, and so I'll kind of show you. Here are, I probably have about 30 to 40 different blocks of my landing pages, of my checkout pages, of my order forms, of my sales pages, of my thank you pages, confirmation pages. Uh, so all I have to do is kind of just drag it over and just customize it. Uh, so over time, you'll be able to kind of build up your library to make sure, or to, to be able to create landing pages much, much quicker. So opt-in forms, if you like one of their opt-in forms, uh, or not from their template, but maybe one of them, their blocks right here, all you do is go up here and just drag it over. It's it really is that simple. And then you just edit the text here. Really, really simple. Now, if you don't like that one, you just go and highlight the green area, click the trash can in the upper right, and it will delete that one. This is, I would just go here, delete, and I would just create something here. How to build a sales funnel in 60 minutes with this free tool something along those lines i could have a headline like that and if i wanted to change the font let's say i'd highlight it drop down i go to web safe fonts they have uh, a number of website fonts or you could go to google fonts and they have god i don't know if it's probably a hundred different fonts i mean all kinds of different fonts uh just kind of find what you like let's check that one out kind of hard to read but we'll just go with that one for example purposes uh i'll go here Enter your name and email for instant access to the video training. And then if I wanted to change this, I could go here, go over to the input tab type on the left hand side. So this is last name. I don't want that to be their last name. I want it to be their first name. And so first name, so placeholder, I like to spell it out. Enter your first name. And we'll do the same for the email. So you just highlight it, go over to email, the input type. Again, if you wanted to ask for phone number or zip code or state or province or street address, you certainly could. For a landing page, for an online space at least, I ask for a name and email. That's it, just really, really simple. And then I'll say enter your email address. Get instant access. I like the color of this button. If I wanted to change it, I'd highlight it. I would scroll down and let's say I wanted it red or brown or yellow or dark green or pink 
So I could just go really, really simple. Then I'll scroll down. So it's, as you can see, system.io pages. I don't want that. Uh, what I could do is customize this and link to my privacy policy. I would click the link right here. Uh, if I wanted to link to my disclaimer, I'd click the link right here. I would add in the URL so it links to my disclaimer. If you didn't want this text, uh, you could certainly just go over to the trash can and just completely delete it. And then it's done. Uh, one last thing I wanted to bring up is if you wanted to change this background image, maybe you don't like the skyline, what you can do is go up to settings here. You can scroll down and as you can see, it's titled called background image. You just click the X here and it's gone. And what I would do is if I wanted to upload something, you could upload a new image or maybe I can go to my current images and maybe I could find an image that I've used. I don't know if this will fit. Let's just check it out. Okay, that's not too bad. A picture of the kids and I, it's really hard to see. So what I would do is maybe hover over this content box, click the little gear icon here, and then I'm gonna add in a border around it, just so it sticks out just a little bit. Uh, I don't want purple, I want black. And let's make that a little bit thicker. And there we go. So there's a little bit of a border around it. As you can see, you really can't see my face or Ashton's face. You can see a bit of Ava's face, though. Uh, so that doesn't look too awful bad. I'm not crazy about this blue here. So I'm going to go over here and go to background color. And I'm just going to turn that to white. Uh, I actually prefer it that looks like that. So that's it. So we'll hit Save Changes up in this upper right-hand corner. We will click this little eyeball, and it will show us a preview of the landing page. And when you preview it, you'll see this yellow banner. Don't worry, it's just preview mode. Don't use this URL. This isn't the URL you would share. But there is, uh, on the far right, there's a little X, and you can close out that banner. But that doesn't look too awfully bad. I've obviously worked on, I probably wouldn't have this image in the background. I just grabbed something. But that doesn't look too awfully bad. Name, email, they click get instant access, then they're going to be saved to our, or they're going to, uh, be added into our email automation uh, follow-up, which we will do in the email training, and then they will be sent to a thank you page, which we will do in the very next video, actually, how to create a thank you page. So make sure you click subscribe down below. Hit that bell, bell notification when I release that video in about two to three days from now. And so what we're going to do, last but not least, we're going to click this button. And if we wanted to do send form, we could do that taking them to the next page. If we wanted to have a pop-up come up, so when they click get instant access, we could say show pop-up and a pop-up would come up and then you would edit the pop-up up here. If you wanted to open a URL, you could do that. Or if you wanted to just take them to the next step, typically you're gonna have send form or show pop-up. Uh, a lot of times I just do send form. Um, but it's completely up to you. If you wanna do show pop-up, you could do that. You would click pop-ups, add pop-up, and then you would customize your pop-up right here. For this specific one, I'm not going to do a pop-up. I'm going to delete that. We are going to just use a just this typical form right here. When they click Get Instant Access, they're automatically added to our email list and they are sent to a confirmation page. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know down in the comments below. Let me know what you thought about the video. Let me know what you think about the training. And make sure you subscribe down to the channel and click that little bell notification because like I said, I got 24 more videos of training videos of not just how to use this software, but how to use it in your business. And I'm going to be giving tips and tricks on marketing, email automation, email marketing, building funnels, all types of stuff. So make sure you hit subscribe down below and then sign up for your free account with system.io adamdukes.com forward slash sys like i said you get access to uh, 598 dollars worth of bonuses that's no cost to you they're completely free it'll give you instructions on what you need to do on that page down below adamdukes.com forward slash sys looking forward to putting out to this training series hoping it helps you grow your business quickly